All right. Good morning. I'm Matt. I'm the CEO of Fermion. I'm a light mode kind of person. This hey. is Radu. I'm Radu. CTO of Fermion. Uh, dark mode, of course. Yeah, we've all, all got our flaws. All got our flaws. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is apparently, uh, my kids inform me this is Halloween week that like Halloween is now a week long thing. So I came in costume, in case you can't tell if I stand like this, I'm the WebAssembly logo. Uh, <laughs> uh, fortunately, that's also the last joke I have for the day. Uh, it was so great to see you all in person here. It is so exciting to, a lot of you we've met online, a lot of you I, I've recognized from previous WASM days, from Open Source Summit, and from uh, you know other CNCF events as well. And it's just really exciting to get together in person and get to talk about WebAssembly because we really do genuinely believe that WebAssembly is the next wave of cloud computing. So Fermion started just about a year ago. On November 1st, it will be one year for us. We started because we really saw a lot of potential in WebAssembly itself. Uh, you know, the, all the stuff that Luke just talked about is stuff that we are really, really excited about because we're going to be able to do things we haven't been able to do before. And in the cloud world, the kinds of stuff we'll be able to accomplish is really gonna push the boundaries once again. Now, when we got started, we thought, okay, we need, to, we need to figure out what problems are important to solve. Developer experience is a really big deal to us because we're all a bunch of developers. And we said, all right, our kind of guiding light of a user story is going to be this one. As a developer, I can go from a blinking cursor to a deployed application in two minutes or less. OK, so where do we start with that story? Well, we've got to be, begin to tell a developer experience story there. As Kate said, you know, and, and in the, the uh, WebAssembly survey that CNCF did, developer tooling is one of the things that's been identified as lacking in this ecosystem. So we thought, all right, well, there's something we can tackle. So we built a tool called Spin. Uh, Spin is a developer tool for creating new WebAssembly microservices and web applications. You pick your favorite language, you type in Spin New, pick your language, name your project, and it scaffolds out the project for you. Now, this project that gets scaffolded instantly compilable. So you can run spin build, which just drops down to the correct tool chain. So if you're using Rust, it's going to use the Rust tool chain. If you're using uh, C Sharp, it's going to use the .NET tool chain. Uh, you pick your favorite language, you build it, and then there's a command called spin up to let you locally test this to make sure that everything is working the way you want. And the idea here was we wanted to build tools that were, that were amenable to your flow, right? It develop, once you get in flow and you're, you're coding away, you don't want to have to do anything that's going to sort of break you out of that experience. And Spin is a tool designed for the developer so that you can kind of stay focused on what you're working on. Now, we released this on March 31st because, of course, nobody wants to release any real software on April 1st, April Fool's Day. Uh, and then on April Fool's Day, of course, uh, Hacker News uh, weighed in, and uh, it was great. We had, a, we had a great time reading through the comments. Uh, one of the ones that really jumped out, a fairly early comment on the Hacker News thread said, hey, hey, Spin looks amazing, but I don't want to run my own infrastructure just to deploy my WebAssembly sites. And we thought, all right. There's a clue right there. We know what we need to build. So today, we are happy to introduce Fermion Cloud, which is the next piece of this story. It is the easiest way to deploy and manage cloud-native WebAssembly applications. So now we have a workflow that with just a GitHub account, you can get your spin configured to deploy to our cloud services and execute in the cloud. Uh, again, going from blinking cursor to now deployed application in two minutes or less. Again, we wanted to keep that user flow so that as you're in your development process, this is just one very quick and easy step for you to do whenever you're ready, right? So we just added, we, we just reused one command that's already been there. Spin new creates your application. Spin build builds the application. And now spin deploy, you can use to push directly up into Fermion Cloud. So with that, I'm going to pass it on over to Radu, who's going to walk us through an example. So this is the first thing you see when you log in with your GitHub account to Fermion Cloud. You'll see the three steps required to create and deploy your application. Now, I already have an app here, and I'm just going to run spin deploy. 
And in the meantime, while this is building and uploading from in cloud, we can look at some of the examples you can use for Rust, for example, where you can write a handler function that takes a request and returns a response, or Go, where you write a func with a response writer and a request, or uh, upcoming work in C Sharp, where you just write an HTTP uh, handle request function as well. All the three SDKs, so Rust, Go, and C Sharp, are all built on top of the WebSMD component model. And I, uh, I highly suggest you all go watch Ivan and Joel's talks later today about Java and C Sharp. Uh, but you can also use any language that compiles to WASI with Framing Cloud. Uh, using the, uh, the WAGI model introduced a couple of years ago by the Dales Labs WAGI project, you can deploy any language that compiles to the WebAssembly system interface to Framing Cloud. Uh, this is just a spin application. You can see the build command required to build it, and then in the meantime, our application is deployed. I can go to Fermion Cloud, and I see my application was deployed a few seconds ago. The website itself is rendered server-side on Fermion Cloud as well, and now I can uh, see how my uh, application looks. I can, from WebAssembly components, I can connect to other mi HTTP microservices, I can connect to databases, and uh, other applications running on Fermion Cloud. Uh, as I mentioned, you can run any language that compiles to WASI on Fermion Cloud, and we're really excited about some upcoming work in Java and JavaScript, as well as C Sharp. Uh, Fermion Cloud would not be possible without some amazing open source projects, and I just would like to highlight two of them. Uh, we're big fans of HashiCorp Nomad. Uh, we're using Nomad as the scheduler for Fermion Cloud, and paired with their really cool task driver model and WebAssembly's compact binary format, it means we can be extremely efficient and have about an order of magnitude better den workload density compared to Kubernetes and containers, all while still being able to run side by side with cloud native workloads such as containers. Uh, the second project I like to highlight is the Wasm Time project by the Bytecode Alliance. Uh, we are using Wasm Time to just in time instantiate WebAssembly modules to handle your incoming requests and then handle your function, your entry point function, and then shut everything down. What this means for Fermion Cloud is that we have no long running processes while not handling actively incoming traffic. And for users, that means that you have no noticeable cold starts because of Wasm Time's insane startup speeds. We're really, really glad to, to keep using Wasm Time in the component model and to keep contributing to uh, Bytecode Alliance projects. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Bytecode Alliance for all the amazing work that they're doing on both Wasm Time and the component model. But Fermion Cloud is not the only place to run spin applications. Uh, for a few months now, you've been able to deploy your own infrastructure and self-host Fermion platform. So you can still continue to do that today using spin deploy, just log into another endpoint. Uh, but as of a few days ago, Microsoft announced a preview for their Azure Kubernetes service where you can run uh, using their container deintegration with Wasm Time, you can run all sorts of WebAssembly workloads, including spin applications. And with Spin being built on top of the component model, we're really excited about the future that Luke just presented on. So if you would like to give it a spin, uh, you can head over to cloud.fermion.com and get started. Uh, tomorrow evening, you are all invited to our kind of launch party. Uh, we're passing out some invitations, but here it is up on the screen. It's at the library at the Detroit Club. We'd love to have you there. It's kind of a swanky thing, so it'd be great to see you there. Uh, with that, again, uh, thank you very much. It's great to be a diamond sponsor of an event like this because we are just so passionate that those of you sitting here in the room, we are building the next wave of cloud computing, and I'm excited, excited to see where this is going to go over the next few years. Thank you very much. Thanks.